One of the most recognizable birds in North America is the bluebird. These members of the thrush family are beloved for their peaceful nature, beautiful color, and pleasant appearance. While most people know what a generic bluebird looks like, there are actually three different species that reside in North America. The eastern bluebird, the mountain bluebird, and the western bluebird. Each of these bluebird species is unique in appearance and inhabits a slightly different range. Let's take a look at each of these species and get to know the bluebirds of North America. First up is the eastern bluebird. Male eastern bluebirds have a sky blue back and head with a rusty orange underside. Females look similar to the males, but with more of a grayish blue back and head and darker, more brownish orange underside. Eastern bluebirds can be found year round in parts of Mexico, the southern United States, and the eastern United States. In summer, they move north into the northeastern U.S. and some parts of Canada. Eastern bluebirds reside in areas that are more open and have some trees, shrubs, or other structures to perch on. Some places to find them include oak savannas, meadows, and farm pastures. These places are made even more suitable if nest boxes are put up in the area, providing a place for these cavity nesting birds to raise young. Eastern bluebirds were in trouble as a species in the mid-1900s, as invasive species such as European starlings and house sparrows began outcompeting these relatively passive birds for nest sites. Thankfully, due to projects aimed at creating spaces for these birds to nest, the species has since recovered and is a prominent site in open areas across the eastern United States during the spring and summer. During breeding season, these affable birds can often be seen bringing insects to nest boxes and natural openings in trees, as invertebrates make up a large portion of their diet during this time of the year. Next is a bird most often found in the west, the mountain bluebird. Male mountain bluebirds are brilliant blue color with a lighter colored underside. Females are more of a grayish blue, with some bright blue still being present on their wings and tail. During winter, mountain bluebirds live in Mexico, the southeastern and western United States, as well as some of the plain states, including Nebraska and Kansas, among others. In summer, they move north, migrating as far as Alaska to breed. Mountain bluebirds thrive in open habitats such as meadows, pastures, and the edges of forests. This species is very comfortable in high elevation and can be found as high up as 12,000 feet above sea level. These beautiful birds haven't quite had the same conservation issues as eastern bluebirds, but their populations have been up and down due to the practices of clearing forest and creating more open areas for grazing and agriculture. Like all North American bluebird species, mountain bluebirds are cavity nesters and therefore require holes in trees or nest boxes to raise young. This leads to competition between bluebirds and other cavity nesting species, both native and non-native, such as house wrens, starlings, and house sparrows. It's worth noting that the mountain bluebird's range overlaps with other bluebird species, and hybridization has been known to occur. The third bluebird species that inhabits North America is the western bluebird. Male western bluebirds look quite similar to eastern bluebirds, with blue wings, a blue head, and a blue tail. They also have a very similar rusty orange color on their chest and sides. One of the key differences, though, is that the western bluebird's orange coloration extends to the upper back as well. Female and immature birds are slightly duller in color than the adult males, but still show the reddish orange on their backs. Western bluebirds are year-round residents of parts of Mexico, the southwestern United States, California, and Oregon. They do have seasonal movements, most notably spreading north in summer, ending up as far north as Canada. Western bluebirds live in edge habitat and often in the actual forested areas of the western half of North America. They are also quite fond of recently burned or logged areas where the trees are a little more sparse. However, this species is not as often found in meadows or agricultural areas as eastern bluebirds or mountain bluebirds are. This habitat preference has created some issues for western bluebirds, as habitat destruction for the purpose of logging and agriculture that have in some ways helped create space for other bluebird species have not had the same benefit for the western bluebirds. All three North American bluebird species share many similarities, including their general size and shape, peaceful and passive nature, 
and of course their namesake blue coloration. These beautiful birds have all had their own struggles with conservation and are fan favorites among many bird lovers. While bluebird species all share many traits, there are also some things that separate them enough to make each a unique species that is fun to look out for on your property or out in the field while birding. If you enjoyed this video, let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding.